Guys, game is just wrapping up. Over to my right here, we are in the victory formation, kneeling down to end matters in Washington. Um, interesting game. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff to break down. Obviously, the end result is very good. Washington showed they belonged on the field with a team that is presumably good. It sh they showed that they are one of the better teams in the country. They showed that they have a real chance to make some waves in the Pac-12 this year. And that obviously needs to be the headline here. We put up 39 points, and that included a lot of garbage time where we were just kind of passively running the clock out um, against a real team. Not a team that's necessarily going to be great this year. I don't know about MSU, but a, a team that is not Portland State or Kent State. Our defense really held Michigan State down for most of that game. And I, I think that anybody can look at this game and go, Washington uh, Washington belongs out there. Now, we did not finish this game the way we could have. If we had finished this game the right way, we might be talking about we might be talking about a top 10 ranking. We might be talking about something really special building. And at the end of the day, that's not really going to matter that much because we are going to have opportunities to face other teams that are good, like Oregon, and we'll have the opportunities to do things there. But this is still something that you have to look at as an opportunity that you capitalized on, but also an opportunity that you squandered because putting this team six feet under by the third quarter would have woken everyone up to how good you are. And that didn't happen. At the end of the day, you're looking at a game where with three minutes left, we were all nervous. We were all a little bit nervous. We were going to find a way to punt this game off. Didn't happen, but you can't help but sit here and feel like we should have won this game like 52 to 10 or something like that. Uh, should have 52, 14, something just absolutely some absolutely ridiculous score that would have woken the entire country up to how good this Huskies team is. I still think they need to wake up. This team is better than a lot of people, myself included, thought. Their offense has proven they can put up big points on a real defense. And I'm really excited about where this season is headed now. But we got to finish better than we finished against Michigan State. I don't know where their season's headed, but if we want our season to head to where we want it to go, which is winning the Pac-12, then we are going to have to learn how to finish a game better than that. Okay, so the game starts, and like I expected, our passing game is killing them. They cannot stop us. It was actually kind of worse than I thought. They had no answer for Penix and our passing game. McMillan killed them. Uh, Polk killed them. Um, uh, O'Dunsey made some big catches. Wide open receivers, pretty much that whole first three quarters. <laughs> Just wide open receivers everywhere. We had big plays. We had short plays. We needed a third down conversion. We got it. It was an absolute laser show from Penix, who, who played awesome. Almost 400 yards, one of the best games of his career. I don't think there were any sacks on him. Uh, offensive line did good, and when the offensive line allowed something, he got the ball out quickly. So, like I expected, Washington was able to throw the ball over Michigan, but Michigan could not run. Michigan State couldn't run the ball at all. Partially because we got up so early in this game that they didn't have a chance to. But even when they tried to run the ball, brick walls, nothing. Great tackling by this defense, great discipline with your run lanes, no big plays, a lot of stuff at the goal line, a lot of one-yard, two-yard gains that don't really move the move the meter at all. And you, you got to say that in a game that I was expecting to be really back-and-forth high-scoring, it wasn't at all. Washington came out, put their foot on the metal, put their, put their foot on the gas, and... Even though the final score looks like it was a back-and-forth high-scoring game, it wasn't. Michigan State could not run the ball on Washington pretty much this whole game. It wasn't until, like, the second half, uh, uh, mostly the end of that game, really, when Michigan State realized, oh, wait a minute, 
this Washington team doesn't have very good cornerbacks. Their secondary is suspect. Uh, they lost their top two corners last year to the draft. We should be attacking them. When that happened, they re they, they, they did some stuff. And I, I don't know what that says about Michigan State's uh, coaching staff not having a game plan to take advantage of a clear weakness. But Michigan State basically, like, they, they ran so many meaningless plays. So many plays where it's, you're just not going to get anything thing out of it, and you know it, when our secondary is something that you can attack. So by the time they actually started doing that, the game already felt like it was over, honestly. And I I don't know what to say about that, but I'm grateful for it. And while we held up our end of the bargain with what our offense was doing in that game, the that Michigan State offense, I, I was I gotta say I was a little wrong about them. They couldn't run the ball at all on us. So that stuff was all great, but I will say this. The interior of our offensive line seems like it's a problem, especially in run blocking. Our short yardage game was terrible. We had two opportunities to try to run for a touchdown um, inside the, 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 the two-yard line. Couldn't get any push. Couldn't get our guys in. Uh, we had a couple of goal line runs that got in at other points in this game where we barely got in the end zone. It was just pulling teeth to get in there. And... At the end of the day, we didn't run the ball that well. In fact, until Cam Davis busted that 30-yarder or whatever it was to um, make it, to, to, to end the game, I think we were averaging like two and a half yards a carry. So, so this running game is a concern. Couldn't run the ball at all. And we, when you're trying to put the game away in the fourth quarter when you have a big lead, you need that running game, and we didn't have it. That's why Michigan State almost got back into this game. We could not run the ball to uh, get get time off the clock. And if you're being honest as well, I don't know what happened, but suddenly all the good plays just dried up for Washington at the end. It was like we ran out of plays. Our playbook just ended after the first two and a half quarters or something. We had nothing I don't think Penix threw a completed pass in the last quarter and a half after completely lighting up that Michigan State defense pretty much the whole game. So I don't know if we ran out of plays. I don't know if Michigan State suddenly remembered they had a game tonight. I don't know what happened, but we tried to put this game away and we had absolutely no solutions there and things got very sloppy. Then, then the defense, which you kind of expect that your your defense, it's going to have a weakness in that secondary, and um, Michigan State eventually started exploiting it. Uh, we were playing soft coverage, and they would find ways to complete easy ten yard passes. And when we tried to play up, they would hit us over the top. And and you you have to wonder why they didn't do that the whole game. I think that's a tremendous uh, L on the uh, face of the Michigan State coach. Uh, Mel Tucker, but I'm grateful for it because uh, here we are, 3-0, and having beat a good team, maybe not a great team, but a good team, and we escaped despite having some real problems putting that game away at the end. Couldn't run for a first down, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't pack the game away, right? Couldn't put the final touches on it. We kind of had to sweat it out there at the end. We had to sweat out onside kicks. We had to sweat out last-minute possessions. Had to sweat some stuff out. All right. I'm happy, but we left some stuff out there. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. i um, hoping the team learned something from how sloppy the last quarter was. We started committing penalties. Our punter had a couple bad punts. Just general sloppiness. But it's cool because you played so good early on. You're here. 39 points. 11-point win. You really beat Michigan State down, and everybody who watched that game knows it. But hopefully, we can turn this into something more meaningful going on. I, I have, in my mind, I have to admit, I have kind of redefined the ceiling of this Huskies team, but they're going to have to continue on in order to prove that they can get there. Big win tonight. Very happy with that. Wish we could have finished better, but... When you when you win a game by two scores, you definitely did something right. All right, I'll see you guys later on. Bow down to Washington, three and zero. Moving on, moving on.